In this video, let's show you guys here how I'm going to paint up my trailer axle here on my utility trailer. As I got stuff on it, as I got it jacked up, as you can see here. Now, the main points you want to paint is the areas like this here. This stuff that connects your tongue. And I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to paint up the axle. See here. People don't understand, but you want to keep stuff mainly where you will it safety precautions and stuff like that as you can see here yes sir basically safety precautions not really worried about too much on looks as you can see i painted that part right there and that's where the well is um so like you want to make sure it don't rust out on your wheels and stuff see here That's what you want to make sure of. I got the tire off. I'm about to put new tires up here. Yes, sir. As you can see here, I got a refrigerator. I'm about to catch some scrap within the next week or so. As you guys can see, um, I got a refrigerator. I got a whole lot of scrap. Old washer. I got a lot of junk they got to go. As you can see, old tin and stuff. So I'm um, just trying to paint it up. Safety procedures. Where it's welded at and stuff like right here. That's where you really want to paint it up at. See here. I ain't worrying about looks. Looks can be deceiving. I don't care about how it looks so much. I just want to make sure it's safe. Okay. The junk like this, all this mess still got to go. Old chainsaws. See here, old chain power chainsaws. Ain't no good. All that mess got to go away from here. Bunch of miscellaneous junk. Okay. I got the tire all old refrigerator, old washing machine, old stove, old dryer, old hot water heater. I got a whole lot of junk. Old lawnmowers. I've been saving. And when the price get up, time to turn it loose. See, like under here, you want to paint on where it's rusty at here. Good idea to sand that off. I ain't worrying about that though. I'm just gonna get some paint on it to keep it from further rusting anyway. Shows. That's where you mainly want to keep it from further rusting. See here. Paint all up under here on the axle area and stuff. And that'll save your trailer and keep it from rusting out. You want to paint all this stuff up. Look at here. Not only is sage the trail, they also make it look better too. Just by paint up under here and stuff. I got the tires off. About to install new tires. I don't know where I'm going to get the tires from yet. It could be a used tire, really. I mean, as long as it's in good shape for a trail. That's something you ain't going to pull that much anyway. No, it ain't like I'm pulling it every day. You know what I'm saying? I be pulling every once in a while or something like that. Probably pull it maybe two, three times the whole freaking year, you know. So a good use to do me. I'll get up right here, paint that axle and stuff up here. It's important where your well at. Most see where the well at. That's where you want to get most of your paint at. On that well. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. I'm using that Walmart paint, man. That paint done went up now. See how much better that looks? Stop capping, boy. Y'all better not cap. You know, this paint is $2.08, but Rust Ola went up to $5 or something. So you still save a lot of money. Rust Ola is $5.43 now. And just to do stuff like this, you still better all get, <laughs> get about two, three cans of the Walmart paint. I ain't going to cap to you. So, uh, especially you paint up little miscellaneous stuff like this trailer. You know, you just want to get some paint on your trailer. Like I'm doing here. I don't see no need to spend a whole lot of money and no paint for a trailer, you know. I just I just, I just don't see it. You know, maybe y'all see it. It's best to use brush paint, but, you know, for a trailer like this, ain't no big deal, really. Just want to get some paint up here. Keep it looking pretty good. 
paint up on the bottom. So I need to get up under there with my tongue in. My stuff. See up all up under there. Needs paint. Where you well at, man. Let me show you guys. Where you well at. That's where you need to get your paint at. See here. Mike can't see it as good. But especially where your well is. You don't want to rust out on you. Yes, sir. Definitely want to get some paint on where that well is. Yes, sir. That's the main points. Where it's welded at, make sure you get some good paint on it. Uh, yes, sir. And paint that axle all the way across. You guys probably need light to show y'all that, but show y'all another time. But yes, sir. You want where your welding points say You want it strong, you know. Uh, yes, sir. It gets paint. Like I said, it's paint two dollars. Still a deal compared to what Rust Olin charging for. There's five forty three now at Walmart. Some shucks. You still better off getting the Walmart paint. Hate to say, it, I can't cap. I can't cap. You still better off getting Walmart paint. Stop the kid now, you. <laughs> I ain't gonna cap to y'all. You still better all get Walmart paint. Alright. Getting it right, man. Look at the tongue and stuff. Looks good, man. I tell you. And like I said, you just want to make sure you paint it good where your whales at and stuff like here. Okay, right, look. You don't want to keep it from rusting on your whales and stuff. That's the key points. Forget how it looks so much. Alright, y'all. Hit that subscribe button, man. The Walmart paint still a good deal. Till next time, I'm out of here. Peace.